Hey, hello YouTube. I'm Karan from India, and in this video, we're going to talk about how to use the get input function by Akini, which is quite a nasty plugin. It is quite useful and very amazing batch plugin. So let's talk about this batch plugin. So I'm quite impressed with it. It is only of 3.5 kb of batch plugin. And after Badbox, this is the second most useful plugin that I can say is important. The color box is not is only here because the test file uses the color box also. So we are going to talk about the get input function only. It is created by Kenny and this is the help documentation by him. So this simply explain is that it gets input from both keyboard and mouse. So here the get input function seems to use a quite complex input but that's not the case. It is very easy to use it. The first in instance I have seen this plugin there and its syntax I thought it's quite difficult to use this plugin so it will not be okay but as I started using it and my batch plugins and functions it becomes quite simple and the documentation seems to be quite complex but let's see the example before we talk about how to use so this example you may have seen in our previous videos that on mouse edge over it will show different colors and if you will select anything like say yarn and oops they forgot to write pause here so we will write pause on their behalf so save it and then again execute it so if you will select cyan light so cyan color with bb so we have selected the color b and let's talk about its usage open it in time you sublime text editor here what they are doing is they simply are setting up things on the CMD console and here they are printing the boxes with different layouts on the CMD but the main usage of get input plugin is here the all else is just the preparation for using it so it will take long time to just prepare the input for the get input and using it is quite simpler here you just need to slash m then mouse slash h then these are the mouse input areas where the mouse input is valid and the h over the slash h stands for h over color for each area it is saying saying the different color codes to mouse to show the mouse h over and in the slash i it is just to ignore the cases of the keyboard character that we will we will press and these are the cases to use that so in a way the usage is quite simpler but to use it you may need additional knowledge about how the how to make the boxes areas and much more so you need to read this for once and you will you are ready to go to use this awesome batch plugin i have used this plugin in making my batch functions advanced so i am quite impressed with this plugin i hope you like this documentation and this plugin please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching thumbs up for the akini and appreciate his work through your comments in the comment field below thanks for watching Bye-bye.